again. And today on What the Deck, I have the Hermetic Tarot, uh, based upon the esoteric workings of the Secret Order of the Golden Dawn by Godfrey Dawson. And this is a US Games. It is a tarot. And I say good morning because you can see the morning sun come through. Okay, the Hermetic Tarot's esoteric design emphasized the Golden Dawn's astrological attributes with further sephoritic, angelic, geomatic, numeral, nu numero, numerical, and cabalistic elements. I felt like I, I needed to be like um, uh, Eminem on that. I think only he can pronounce all of those things rapidly together. Now, re revered as a classic, this deck's black and white artwork by Godfrey Dawson features intricate detailing and highlights the powerful symbolism. Okay, so this is a tarot um, in a, this one's been handled a bit, so um, it definitely has a little uh, wear and tear, if you will. But this is the perfect time to say that if you like what the deck and you like this video to please hit like and if you really want to make me happy then maybe it would be really nice of you to hit subscribe because I would love 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 that and if you really love it maybe give it a share I would love that as well remember there is no stinking thinking in here we are just talking about cards because if there's any stinking thinking you're out of here and what does that mean that means that I will delete any real negative comments, trolling, anything that's just combative. It's just, it's not necessary. We're just having fun with cards. Okay, so let's open her up. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so you're going to get this card. And it is a basic tarot card. It's shiny. It's like got that shiny feeling. I don't know what would you say that's kind of like it's not laminated is it i don't know it's not really like that but it's shiny okay so you're gonna get this this is what the back looks like and i show you how yeah it's the basic tarot um cardstock okay considered to be one of the most important esoteric tarot decks created in the 20th century the hermetic tarot is now back in print in response to a considerable demand Godfrey Dawson's subtle designs emphasize the Golden Dawn's astrological attributes while also uh, inter uh, integrating angelic numer maybe just me, numer numerical and cabalistic elements. The black and white artwork features intricate... Am I just reading what I had in the back? The black and white artwork features intricate detailing and highlights from the power symbolism of both the major and the minor arcana. Okay. We're gonna look at the little white book and see what you get. Here they're gonna go over the symbols because there's gonna be symbols in here that go over, this is the symbols for, <clears throat> pardon me, the elements and the um, astrological um, signs. Sun and moon. There's an introduction. Ooh, that goes into that. And they're talking about the deck. And they're going over the elements. Stop by where air falling. So they're going to um, they call the fool the foolish man, and they're going to go over what element they are. And then there's going to be elements of the um, astrological signs, and that's what they're showing you in here. The four sevens. So there's, oh, there's a lot of information in here. Okay, Major Arcana. Oh, we're going, we're jumping in now. Okay, so the Major Arcana, and we're going over the Fool, and then it goes over again this, um, and then it goes all the way down. So that's about how much information you're gonna get. Let's just make sure there's nothing in the back, because there is. There is, there is, there is. Okay, these are the pentacles, spreading the deck and reading the cards. So they're going to go over that. And hang on the 
deck upside down. Da -da -da. Card that looks like they're going over. Oh, they're going over this, the, the Celtic cross. And then the 10 um, spheres, they're going over what um, the Tree of Life Kabbalah looks like. Okay, so that's the information you're going to get in the book. As always, I am going to just go through quickly the cards. If you want to pause and look at a card, absolutely, you can do that. Um, so you're going to have different symbolism. They're even calling it different. Um, a lot going on that you can uh, use for interpretation. And we're off with the Major Arcana. As you can see, some of the names are different. And definitely the depictions in the artistry are different. But this is a classic deck. One of them. Okay, so as you can see, we've moved on to the miners. And we're going to end with the King of Pentacles. Prince of the Chariot of Earth. So, as you notice, there's just a lot in them. Um, the sayings on the bottom. So, that is that. What do you think? What do you think of this deck? What do you think? Okay, do you like the black and white? There's a lot of people who really do like the black and white. Um, do you like this deck? If you do, why? If you don't, why? Do you have this deck? How do you work with this deck? Um, you know, and also you can also say uh, really cool spreads. Um, also, that if you used with this deck um, and how they turn out. So that is the Hermetic Tarot. And um, I don't know, what do you think? That's it for what the deck and on this, on this classic deck. Um, I wanna say thank you so much for coming and just have a really, really great day. I really want you to have a great day. And until we talk about cards again,